Gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to Midtown Money. Happy post 4th of July to you. Today's topic five ways to your financial independence day. Before we get to that, thank you to the ongoing support from the Patreon investors and welcome to Voris the newest member of the MGTOW Money Army. Heads up, Patreon supporters, by the way. I sent you out a couple of messages, one of which has an idea that'll put 200 US dollars right in your pocket, sitting right on your couch. Very easy. You don't have to talk to anyone. The second idea had some ways to save some money through Amazon.com, through any purchases you might make, as well as an idea that if you've made some airplane flights over the past 15 years or so, you might be able to get some money back on that. So again, Patreon support check your email. Men, see the video description today. Become a Patreon supporter of this channel. Today's topic, five ways to your financial independence. You know, it's one day past July the 4th, of course. July 4th, 1776, 56 men, 56 men only, signed, publicly declared their independence from the British crown. Many of these men were in their 20s and 30s. What were they doing, men? They were declaring their independence. They were saying, we are free men. We are walking away. We are MGTOW leaving a corrupt system that is attempting to enslave us. Men, as I have mentioned in the past, in my opinion, MGTOW is not freedom in of itself. It is a stepping stone to your freedom. You ultimately need money. You need streams of income to walk away. Otherwise, you are still enslaved by the system. I don't care if you have no involvement whatsoever with women. If you're still going to work every day and a 9 to 5 job, unfortunately, you are still a slave to the system. This is how, though, men, Today is your day to declare your financial freedom, and I've got five ways to do so. But specifically, as opposed to giving you suggestions, I'm going to tell you what the slaves are doing. What I'm going to sort of use the anti-role model, if you will. What people are doing who are still going to stay in the system till, oh, they're probably about 75 or so, and then they'll be dead by about the time they're 80, if they're lucky. What are they doing? One, those people with their money, they are not tracking their spending. In other words, they're just spending money day to day, not thinking about it. And all the all of a sudden, one day they're like, hey, what happened to all my money? Where did it all go? And they have no idea. They're not tracking their spending. This is a very serious error, men. I've mentioned this numerous times in the past. I don't care what mechanism you use. You need to be tracking your spending. Every penny, every centavo, every kiat, whatever currency you're using, you need to be tracking your spending on a daily basis because you want to be looking for areas that you can reduce, if not even eliminate. You need to be tracking your spending. Very simple idea. You can do this starting today. Two, poor people, people that are still in the system, spend money impulsively. They don't even think about it. Whether it be small purchases, a cup of, a cup of coffee, uh, a fast food, or buy a big house, buy a car, etc., buy new furniture. They're not thinking about their spending. They're just spending money and just blowing it, if you will. Men, you've got to stop this. This is a terrible habit. You need to start being careful with your spending. How do you start being careful with your spending? Start writing down things before you buy them. Of course, I'm not talking about writing down, okay, I need to buy a a roll of toilet paper and a tube of toothpaste. No, I'm talking about writing down, in particular, major purchases. Let's say anything that's above... $50 or $100. You come up with some number. Write it down and don't buy it. Put it on a list and let your list sit. In other words, delay, prolong it, procrastinate. The point being is that what you'll find is you'll think it through. You'll let it gestate, if you will, in your mind. You'll be less likely to spend impulsively if you'll simply do this. This is a very simple thing. Again, you can start doing today. Three, poor people, people that are stuck in the system and they're never going to get out, accumulate bad debt. And and I emphasize bad debt. Now, of course, 
I do not encourage anyone to take on any form of debt. I highly discourage most people to have any form of debt. In my opinion, if you have debt, you better have a high financial IQ. And most people, frankly, do not have a high financial IQ. But again, I'm going to define bad debt as being credit cards, student loans, and auto loans. These are terrible forms of debt. These forms of debt will crush you. If you're like two-thirds of credit card holders, yeah, two-thirds, you're carrying a balance. This is a terrible form of debt. With 20-25% interest rates today, that debt is going to take you years to pay it off, in particular if you're just making the minimum monthly payment. Men, I'm going to include a link in the description to some ideas specifically. If you're fighting credit card debt, see my action plan that I've got on dealing with credit card debt. Student loans, I don't need to say any more about this. I've done numerous videos about this. Avoid, 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 avoid. Student loans are probably one of the most insidious, cancerous form of debt you can possibly have, in particular because you cannot eliminate it via bankruptcy. Another form of debt that is terrible, that it's getting worse and worse, and now is over a trillion dollars, of course, is auto loans. An average auto loan today is 72 months, six years. Men, when you're taking on an auto loan, you're borrowing for a liability. In other words, you're borrowing money to buy something that will guarantee fall in value. It's going to decline in value. Again, poor people take on lots of bad debt. Don't be a poor person. Four, laziness. Poor people are really, really lazy. Now, let me, let me be clear. I'm lazy too. I love sitting around doing nothing. However, I can also tell you though, most of the days, you know what I'm doing? I'm hustling for extra money. And even, and I, when I say hustling for extra money, whether that be earning money or saving money, because remember men, saving a dollar is a dollar earned. So my point being is that whether you're hustling to earn an extra dollar or hustling to save a dollar somewhere, shape, some way, shape, or form. Most poor people are lazy and they're not doing it and they're going to remain slaves to the system. Five, this is critical, men. This is the most important thing that poor people, those people stuck in the system, are not doing. Those people have no long-term plan. Man, I was in my late 20s and I can tell you most successful people, this is how they're thinking. They're thinking 10, 15, 20 years ahead financially. Poor people are thinking 10, 15 hours ahead. They have no idea of their net worth. They have no idea of their magic number, that number that they need to achieve financial independence. And I'll include a link in the video description so you can determine your particular magic number, your unique magic number. But specifically, men, they're just operating off of hope. Hope is their strategy. That is their long-term plan. It'll all just sort of, quote, work out. Well, men, let me just tell you, if, if, if that's your strategy, if hope is your strategy, If all you've got is hope, you're a dope. Men, as I've mentioned in the past, don't try to predict the future. Prepare for it. Plan for it. Now, let me quickly summarize what you should be doing. Here's your action steps for your financial independence that you're going to be declaring today. Let me give it to you very specifically. One, you, of course, are tracking all your spending every single day. Two, you're going to stop spending impulsively. You're going to start writing things down. In particular, when it's a major sort of expense, you're going to write it down and attempt to delay it, procrastinate on it, etc. Three, 
You're going to stay away from the three, in particular, bad forms of debt being credit cards, student loans, and auto loans. Stay away from them. Avoid them. Very specific and easy to do. Four, you're going to stop being lazy. Hustling, whether it be hustling for extra money or whether it be looking to save money. I've done numerous videos about ways that you can earn extra money as well as ways that you can save money. And that's also the type of messages, actionable advice that the Patreon supporters are getting on this channel. Lastly, most importantly, you're going to have a long-term plan. Men, you got to start start thinking 10 years, 15, 20 years into the future. Time will pass, I guarantee you. We're all living, we're like fish in a fishbowl and we don't notice it. But the point is, you got to forget the hope. You got to start planning. You got to start doing the basic math on these things because you can achieve financial independence at a relatively young age, but you got to start today and you can declare your financial independence right now and start. Gentlemen, hit the like button if you found this useful. John Galt, out.